Hey guys, uh, welcome to my video on a portable chest x-rays. So are you having trouble with the portable chest x-rays? Do you find yourself taking longer than usual to set up and get your image? Today I'm going to show you a tried and true method for a portable chest that will shave minutes off your setup time and decrease the amount of time your patient is uncomfortable with that cassette jabbing them in the back. This is definitely helpful for those geriatric and or extremely kyphotic patients that has their spine coming in direct contact with the cassette. So everyone knows those techs who spend a ton of time positioning the cassette behind the patient. They'll walk into the room and after greeting and identifying the patient, they head straight over and place the cassette right behind them. Uh, then they'll walk over, grab the tube, take forever to position that. Then they'll walk back over to the cassette and the patient readjust the cassette because uh, now they can see the light field and they can see that the cassette's not lining up. All the while this is happening, the patient's grimacing in pain because the cassette's hurting their back. So try this method out and you'll be in and out of the room in 20 seconds. So before entering the room, pull up all the patient info on your portable, and as you're walking up to the doorway, peek your head in, check out the patient, and set your uh, appropriate technique depending on the patient's body habitus. This will save you some time from having to do this um, right before you expose, which means less time the patient has that cassette behind them. So when you enter the room, greet your patient as you normally do. As you're greeting your patient and introducing yourself, you're parking the portable and getting it in position for your x-ray. After your introduction, you need to make sure that you have the correct patient. So you're going to ask their name, date of birth, whatever identifiers you normally use. Um, while doing this, you're going to simultaneously position the tube. If the patient's not sitting upright when you walk into the room, you can still park the portable in position and walk around, sit the patient up while you're introducing yourself and identifying the patient, then come back and position the tube. The key here is to position the tube and the light field before you place the cassette behind the patient. Now that you have your light field collimated, you can easily see where the cassette needs to be placed. So place your cassette behind the patient, lining up the top of the cassette with the light field, and depending on your collimation, the corners of the cassette with the corners of the collimation. As you're walking back to the portable, you should start giving your breathing instructions, so by the time you get there, you can expose. After the exposure is complete, the cassette should have been behind the patient no longer than 3 to 5 seconds, and you shouldn't have spent any longer than 20 to 30 seconds in the room total. Of course, this will vary depending on how cooperative the patient is, but lining the tube and the light field up first before putting the cassette behind the patient is key to getting you out of the room quicker and the patient having a better overall experience. So compare this to when other techs put the cassette behind the patient first, then they'll try to complete all the other steps, um, pulling up the patient info, setting the technique, trying to adjust the cassette, uh, all the while the, the patient's complaining of how uncomfortable the cassette is. So, in my opinion, it's kind of a no-brainer. If you have two techs in the room, um, one tech should be positioning the tube while the other tech is, is positioning the cassette. Uh, whichever tech does the introduction and, and verifies the patient info should be the, the lead tech for that exam. This way there isn't two techs giving instructions at the same time, which confuses the patient. Uh, this tech should also be the one uh, with their marker on the cassette, if not both techs having their marker on the cassette. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Uh, I hope this video helps you out. Um, if you like the video, smash the like button and share with your friends. If you want to see more videos like this one, visit bariumjunkie.com, pick up some merch, and help support this channel. Thanks.